Hello my friends and welcome back to our bond let's play of your turn to die death game by majority my name is a fatless bear this is your story based gaming channel we are in chapter three the final chapter of this amazingly wonderful game I mean this has just been it's been such a treat uh th this game ha only is a blessing on the channel because so many uh, have come to this place because of this game I think the first video at this moment has like 22 likes, which is amazing, and over 200 views. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who's been here, for everyone who's been a part of this ride. Uh, but we're not done yet. No, 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 nowhere close to being done. But I just wanted to make sure you all know how much I appreciate you guys. You are just, you have blessed me so much by following along, watching the videos, commenting, liking the videos. It's just been amazing. Thank you. Uh, let's retrace our memories, shall we? Thanks. I love this music. So good. Probably because I like the violin. A normal high school girl, Sarah Chidone, and her best friend, Joe Tizuna. Joe. One day they were pulled into a cruel death game. Rather than submit to fear, they chose to cooperate with the other participants. But alas. High school teacher, Kazumi Mishima, became the first victim. There was no stopping that they would kill each other. After a cruel majority vote, homemaker Kai Sato died. And Sarah's best friend, Joe, died as well, unable to defy his fate. Sarah became tormented by hallucinations. As her heart crumbled, the peril only continued. Now, a question. Which of these two died? Oh, so you can choose. By the way, I did load the previous data. And I fast forwarded through the trial and I went right into this. Uh, but I guess even if you load the previous data, it still, it still wants to check to see what you did. So that's kind of cool that you can see the branching pass. Uh, Veiko died. Was Veiko Yabasami the victim? Yes. Exactly. The next victim was singer-songwriter Reiko Yabasame. As desperately as they tried to grasp escape, their enemies gave their very lives to stop it. When the main game occurred once more, and student now Egokora died. Now then, another question. Aww, which of these two died? Look at those pictures. Oh, they look so good. Uh... So he always was the victim, unfortunately. Good, so you remember it well. You know, I talked about this, and the thing is, So is an adult. He told us to save Kane. Kana. And Kana is a child still. I mean, let's not be mistaken. She's still a kid. And when an adult says, Hey, I, wa I want to give my life for this kid. And... I mean, why would you not choose so? I mean, it takes a really... I, I understand the logic behind saving so versus saving Kana, but he told us to save Kana, and Kana is a kid. I mean, why would you save him when he explicitly tells you, I want you to save Kana? Um, and for me, that was an easy choice. Especially when Kutaro himself said, you know, if I had to save a child or an adult, I'll always save the child. And I agree. I'm sorry, but if I was in a situation where a child was going to die and I could save them if I gave my life, I would 100% save that child without question. Or at least I hope to believe that's what I would do. Uh, then again, that would happen with anyone now. Um, if I was in a situation where I need to give my life for someone else, I think I would because hopefully that's the person I am. 
But if I had to choose between a child and an adult, I would always just save the child first. Uh, what it, was it, uh, the old Titanic movie, you know, woman and children first? You know, that's kind of how it is. Uh, you always save the kids. After removing his collar using the last of his strength, which I still want to know how he did. He started up with Joe AI. At last, Sarah reunited with her best friend and awoke from a long nightmare. It's a really awesome scene, by the way. The death game is not over yet. Six remain. Kana was always angry with her... I'm sorry, not angry. I don't know where that word came from. Kana was always with her big sister. Because she loved her a lot. But Kana was always just a bother to her. Even that time when it mattered most, she couldn't do anything. So she thought she was hated. But that message made her remember that surely her big sister was watching over her. Live, Kana, even on your own. Don't cry. I'm sorry we couldn't go together. I love you, Kana. That she had to stay strong on her own. But, well, the truth is she knew that it wasn't her sister who wrote the message. All the dots. There's people who try to protect Kana. There's people who work to encourage her. So she doesn't want anyone else to die. Because they're all such kind people. Your turn to die. Death game by majority. Whew. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, everyone, this floor will be closed off soon. Please proceed to the next floor quickly, or else your callers will. Yeah, yeah, I know. All the questionable thoughts? Miss Sarah, could it be that you're... Cured? Of my hallucinations, you mean? It felt like I've been having a bad dream. I tortured myself with hallucinations of my own making. But I've woken up now. I know we now won't lose to the likes of you. All the dots. Right. Best of luck then, Miss Sarah. Just what I've come to expect. You always stand right back up, Sarah. It's not like it's on my power alone. You mean so? All the dots. I uh, can't say I had a handle on him up to the very end. Because I uh, kept getting used and falling for lies. By the way, can I just say that? I, I like to do voices, and I don't do the best voices I know, but I still like to do them. And So's voice was very distinct. You know, he's got that raspy voice like this. And it was really easy to do it. It was really easy to tell him and everyone else apart. Whereas I struggle with female voices, especially because I'm not female. Uh, so if I had to choose between voices, I'd much rather have So's voice than uh, Kana's voice because she's up like this. Uh, I'm just saying, uh, it it's always like the characters who I like to voice who die first. I mean, Mishima died and I loved all his eccentricities, you know? Um, and now So dies. So I just want to say, uh, if you have a voice that you like, uh, fear for that person. <laughs> So sort of like Game of Thrones, if you like a character, you know that character's going to die. But it's the truth that he tried to protect Kana. I guess so. But you gotta live for his sake, Kana. Don't go thinking about self-sacrifice no more, you hear? Yes. And for Big Sis now's sake, too. Yeah, let's not forget now. I mean... Now was a cool character. I really like Now. Now, she's someone who grew on me. I remember way back when, when I was talking about how she could be like the main criminal behind everything, but she really grew on me. That's why we've got to pull out all the stops now. Then we should should we head to the next floor now? I want to care for my collar activating. Ah, uh, well, we start our escape plan. What's on the next floor? Meow. This time, this time, let's escape for sure. Kana. Kana has clearly changed. I might say she's gotten stronger. All the dots. With each sacrifice, we change. That's right, so no one's death will be in vain. 
Let's get a move on, everyone. Right. After you, partner. A large door. Huh? Through here, really? Hold on. Before we do that, let's look around. Okay. Yep, let's go. Didn't want to miss anything. Whoa, it's the stairway to heaven. <laughs> this isn't where that door went before. So in Silent Hill 2, we play a, a game where we go down this steep stairwell into like the bowels of hell. And your turn to die, we play a game where we go up a steep stairway that looks like it goes to heaven. Hmm. Oh, whoa, the hey is this place? Uh, is something surprising at this point? Well, it's just an image. Meow. See, he's not impressed. <laughs> this is great. I love Jin. Uh, you're becoming such a one down adult, Jin. It's like we're walking through the sky. At the top of the stairs is a door that blends in with the background. Should we go in? Let's go. We open the door and entered. It's pitch black. A long passage? Everybody okay? Nobody fallen behind? I'm fine. Meow. Hold on tight to the coast of the person in front of you. Wolf. Uh, is that right? Thought my head, thought my back smarted. So it was just Jean's claws. <laughs> hmm. Hey, you lot. I found a wash tub of some sort. Ah, that's Connor's bucket. Please give it back. Ah, I can see a faint light. I love the humor that gets mixed in with stuff. What is that? What is that? There's a long, narrow stone brightly illuminated. It's hard to judge how far away it is, but it seems pretty big. A grave? I, that was my first thought. Is that a grave? A grave? I wonder hers. Still, what is this doing here? Huh. Perhaps provocation from the kidnappers, implying we'll be buried here and such. All the questionable dots? Uh, another light came on. Meow. A large box of some sort. Ah, oh, this box is even bigger than Kutaro. Surely this isn't. A bento box? I don't know what a bento is. Um... It's a coffin. What? You know, then there's someone inside. Ridiculous. Whose body exactly? Watch me like the head of Laser Ranger. I wonder, should I open this thing? Some sort of coffin. Should I open it? I slowly op slid open the lid. Oh, God. It's... A person. There's a person in there. Yeah, it's, uh, so sweater. That kind of looks like Mishima's hands. What? But who? No? Un unthinkable. That's... The real So Hayori, is it not? The real So? Meow. There's another box now. Wolf. Uh, what in the world? What's going on? Don't know. I slowly open the lid. Sure enough, someone's in here. Meow. That's Glasses Guy. I've seen him somewhere before. Wolf. Yeah, we've seen that pig before. That victim video. He's someone died in the first trial. That's right, Meow. An axe came at his head. And yet, not a single visible... Oh. Not a single visible wound, huh? Whoa. A whole bunch of uh, coffins. This is creepy. I'm going to go ahead and drop a save. Um, I need to make a backup of this save. I need to remember to do that. Inside is a girl with pink hair. She looks about Kana's age. Inside is a boy wearing a school uniform. Meow. Respond if you're alive. Well, 
Uh, Jean. It's size of man with blue hair. He's not breathing. It's size of woman wearing a large hat. It's like a cemetery. How uncanny. It's size of girl wearing a hood. I think I've seen this hood. White green hair. Is there anything of interest? I slowly open the lid. Are there any places that look suspect? Oh my god! What the? Ah! Fix this, Sarah! What happened, Wolf? Get away! That person moved! What? What the? It's the night of the living dead! What is going on here? Whoa, Jesus. God. Oh. It's nice to meet you, Miss Sarah. All the dots. What? What? Ha ha. Sorry to pop out of the darkness. Did I startle you, I wonder? I uh, you mean you wanted to corpse? As you can see, I'm super duper. So, did you enjoy it? Who the heck's gonna enjoy that? Just who, uh, what are you? Huh? So sure enough, you don't remember. That's perfectly fine though. I'm your floor master this time. Hello. Floor master, you say? Yep, I waited for five hours in that coffin. So cool of you guys to keep me in suspense. Now, now, gather closer to me. And you, Alice, my murderer. As I thought, you're... There's no time. I need to introduce you to the dolls who will be supporting you. Guy is so creepy. Uh, uh, whoa, nearly. So it's all the dolls of the people who died. There's just way too many voices to be able to do this. Pretty girl. Ooh, just the worst way to wake up. Can't stand it. You have to support these guys? <laughs> well, fine by me. So, which of you is my partner? Partner? Ahem. It should be master, you know. You guys are the supports, after all. Hold on, supports? Aren't these... Aha, I'll introduce you. They're known as the dummies. They're the tragic victims who died before they can meet anyone. Eee! Sarah, you're just so cute! Relax, Go on your side. She knows my name. Naturally, they're dolls. So they got necessary info in put in advance. The, this desecration of the dead. Let me go back home. It's no use struggling now. This time, we'll be having you make pairs with the dummies to take on the game. Pairs, you say? Now, red thread of fate, activate. My, all the questionable dots? My collar? Oh, we're getting paired up. Oh. What's this? Uh, the people connected by the red thread of fate are the pairs for this game. Uh, kid? Alright then, I'll protect you. I'm Kiramata. Ah! So Kitara is my master! My name's Mai. Let's get along! Uh, sure. Is that the right mood to be in? Hinako. Middle schooler or so? Must be rough. Fuck. My partner is a murderer. I I'm Anzu. Be gentle, ha ha ha. Huh, murderer. Percy here it said to my face. Quit it. I'm Hayasaka. Hoo hoo boy. A kid, huh? I'm the one who's worried. Well, uh. 
Zero, was it? I'm Raymaru. I'm in high school, like you. A high school student? Uh, trade please. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. I love this, it's like, hello? I don't want to say anything? And please get me another person. Just such great, in so many games you get responses where it's like, uh, hello? Or welcome. They're both the same choice, just different word that means the same thing. And this in this one, we have three very distinct choices here. Um uh you know me, I'm an all the dots kind of guy. S say something. This is awkward. How nice. Everyone looks like they'll get along. Well, lastly, I'll introduce myself to I'm a poor doll killed by the murderer, Alice Yabasame. So, Hiyori. Man. Let's look at, like, everyone. Looks like there's a doll disappeared in the background, but... All the dots? Of course. So, Hiyori is the name of the past to me now. Seeing as Shin used it with such care, I'm not going to just claim that name now. All the dots! Shin Tsukimi. That's the real name of the so we knew. So he took the alias of So Yori from this guy. Poor Shin. I'm truly, truly sad I am. Since he was going to die anyway, I want to kill him with my own hands. What do you mean he was going to die anyway? Oh, how can you say that? Ha ha ha. Don't get so mad. You can't, you all can't understand my affection. This person, he's a little like So. But something is distinctly different. Anyway. It'll be inconvenient without a nickname. Hey, Miss Sarah, you act as a representative and give me a new name. I have to type in a name? Huh. Well, I, for one, always like to think that whenever I have a situation where I have to type in a name in a video game, I always choose the name that's either given to me or I try to look up the proper name canonically. So for example, when I play Persona 3 or Persona 4, I, I go online and I type in what is the actual name of the main character, and then I use that name. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes, because in those games, th that their names are debated which one's the actual name sometimes. Uh, but I always like to stick with the true name of a character. If you ever watch any of our RPGs, I never rename the characters. I always keep them the same. So Midori, this seems to be his default name. So we'll stick with his default name. Midori, that's a good name. Are you sure you want me to name that? Yes. Thanks. I'm glad to get such a wonderful name. So, what are you going to make us do this time? Ha ha ha. You just can't wait, can you? Relax. It's a very simple bonus game. You just have to join forces to kill a certain target. That is to say, it's a hunt. <sighs> you can use any method. Shooting, stabbing, striking, strangling, anything goes. Should be a piece of cake for you guys who killed a bunch of people, albeit indirectly. Who exactly do we... Your target is Kaiji Shinogi. Oh, great. Not. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. You got me. I'll admit. I'll admit. You got me. Did I make your heart skip a beat, Miss Sarah? Obviously, that's a joke. I want to make you kill your allies. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, you got me. Yeah, you got me. Oh, you got me. We're having a serious conversation, Miss Sarah. God, what's with this guy? How can he... How can you say we're having a serious conversation after just joking? Midori, you're weird. Your target is Midori. In other words, you just need to kill me. Uh-huh. You gotta kill a doll? Ha ha ha. No, no, I won't say it twice. Now begins the sub-game, the murderer game. I'm looking forward to the finest of bloodlust. Wait, is the ex explanation over? By the way, what does A-S mean? What are your thoughts on that? 
You know? Like, they all say AS, so it has to mean something, right? We have to kill that person? Wah, <laughs> you alright? Now, might have been our best chance, you know? Let a kick! Who could just up and do that after having it spun on him? I bet that guy fly to the furthest ends of this floor. There's nothing for it. First, we'll share the information we have with everyone. Hmm, there's still more info? That's right. He said it was too much bother, and so we should give the explanations. Seems like we should ask them for details, Sarah. Okay. Alright, well, left is always right, so let's start with left, and we'll go right. So, hmm. Hey there, Sarah Senpai. Senpai? You're not a fan of that? To me, high school students are like adults. Uh, so yeah, I played a lot of Persona games, so I know the word Senpai. Uh, I don't know exactly what it means, but Senpai is always used to... Is always used as, like, a reference to an older student or a more senior student um so mitsurugi senpai from persona 3 you can call me what you like kanako great sarah senpai glad you're someone who talks sense oh yeah i'll tell you a piece of info the requirement for us being chosen as supports is that we're dead people who never had any contact with your survivors i heard eight people died in the first trial so two of them must have already known survivors Interesting. Kana's sister and Megumi Sasahara, I suppose. Let me write that down. So, Kana's... That would be really disturbing if Kana's sister was actually here, though. Because that would really mess up Kana um, in so many ways. So I'm glad she's not here. I have another big piece of info, but I can't say it yet. Eh? Ha ha ha. If you just reveal your entire hand, you'll get used to it as a pawn, right? Nobody likes being used. Used. Um. Hmm. I, I don't really want to be friends. No, I mean that. I, I can't say that honestly. Um. I would definitely use them. Mahaha, you saw right through me. You're a terrible actor, Sarah Senpai. Hung. Ha ha ha, I'll tell you whatever I can trust you. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, um, the, these things, these dolls are just exactly what I see them as. I don't see them as humans. I see them as creations designed to mess with us. <sighs> Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should try seeing them that way. After all, they do act like humans, right? So maybe I should treat them like humans. I don't know. It's like the whole debate over like AI, cyborgs, robots, and humans. Um, and there's been many movies made like that and video games. Uh, maybe I should try to be nicer to them. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Whatever your name was that I forgot. So you're Sarah, right? Yeah. Oh, let's be friends. We're about the same age, right? Erk, you're judging my outfit? Oh, wait, wait. Yes, that is her talking, okay. Oh, you're judging my outfit, aren't you? You think I'm weird. I mean, actually, I don't think you're weird. I think you're pretty cool looking. I, I, I And I'm pretty sure I said that when I saw it the first time. That this uh, red and blue is really awesome with the yellow tint. Looks really, really cool. I don't know what's up with this giant whatever this thing is. Um, but I, I like her outfit. Uh, the hood's familiar. Weird. I, I'm not thinking that. I'm not thinking that at all, really. Oh? Yeah, in fact, I like those clothes. They suit you. I, I agree, they do. Hey, hey, hey. Even if it's flattery, I'm sort of glad. Since I made these myself. It's hard to explain, but see... I do this clown sort of thing outside of school. Whoa! Okay. Look, I attend events dressed like this. That mask is a little bit scary though. Even with the heart at the top, it's still a little bit scary. What a scary mask. <laughs> That's exactly true. I love when the protagonists are on the same page. 
So, no reason to be creeped out, really. Sh sure. Anyway, do you have information? Of course, let's see. C could I ha have you ask someone else? And <clears throat> did she forget? Why are these dolls being so difficult? Uh, hey, Miss Sarah. Hayasaka. Uh, are you familiar with me? You're familiar with me, aren't you? Because you said our name. Uh, and now, what are you talking about? Do you know something about this death game, perhaps? All the dots. You saw my victim video, didn't you? All the dots. Just think about it. I'm not the real Hayasaka. I'm a doll made to look exactly like him. Obviously, the organization wouldn't leave me any memories that'd be a problem for them, right? Is that so? I I'm glad you understand. Well, if that'll be all. He's utterly suspicious. Uh, so it's just Sarah, fine? Hmm? Uh, call me Mr. Sarah, of course. Of course, we're probably about the same grade. You sure? You aren't gonna come to me later saying you were actually my senior? I don't think this is a time to be worried about junior and senior relations. More importantly, do you have any info? I do. It's about these red threads on our colors that connect us. If the people in the pair get some distance apart, their colors activate and their heads fly off. Well, that's not good. What the? Well, actually, that's only for us supports. Your color won't activate, Sarah. So only your color would? So don't get too far from me, okay? Let's put our differences aside. Got it. Wow. It's cute little Sarah! You're going to chat with me! Nah, really a chat. I just need your info. And some earplugs. Oh, like my measurements? No, no, I mean regarding the death game. If you tell me what your type is, then I'll tell you what I know! Eh? Um... Kind people. Uh, I guess I had to say kind people? I totally get that! People who treat you nice are the best, after all! Yeah. But kind people can't survive here, huh? Her eyes are so creepy. Good lord, look at that. Oh, the exclamation dots. Ah, oh, sorry if I upset you. Right, you wanted to hear my info? Well, it's about us. Our real selves died in the first trial. All the dots. Yes, I know that. And we were shown these victim video things that showed us the moment of our deaths. All the dots? Let's be honest, it's unforgivable that they would do this to us. So I must want to give my all too. And I want your aid as well, Sarah, please. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. We're not a pair, but let's do our best. All right. Wah! You're a Sarah Chidone, aren't you? Is something funny, Mr. Kiramata? Sure is. You're just a plain old high schooler. Way to survive, am I right? Straight up amazing. All the dots? Uh, thanks to my allies. Thanks to my allies, we all help each other. Allies, huh? It's also because of the sacrifices, but... I mean, I, as I consider the sacrifices to be my allies. So when I say allies, I'm including the sacrifices. Allies, huh? Yes. Oh, the dots. Well, alright then. Guess that was the right call after all if you're still alive. Oh yeah, but really, I should tell you. Apparently there's monsters looking on this floor. Monsters? Uh, probably just does, really. But it'll spell tragedy if we don't get weapons. You ever been in a fight? Not the violent sort, naturally. Well then, you have your fluffy mop buddy. Give, me, give him heck. Maybe if you give him a good smooch, he'll work his butt out for you. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. No, if someone else is going to fight for their life, I'm going to fight for my life too. Oh, the dots. Uh, I see, I see. You're real interested. Hmm. Oh, uh, oh, the exclamation dots? What's that sound? Did, did I accidentally... Did, did me playing Silent Hill and Your Turn to Die at the same time cause like a rift in time and space and make it so that both games combined into one super game? Uh, garbage. Looks like they're here already. All the questionable dots. 
Uh, monsters coming to attack. Oh, this is interesting. This is what we see when there's a trial. Oh, we got, oh, whoa! It's a monster! Yeah, that's right. You're dead mean if you don't handle it the right way, got it? Meow, yeah, that's absurd, punk gorilla. You can't fight against something like this, Wolf. True, I can't imagine we can do much to get on fair and square. Then put your wits together. We'll all think about it and pick someone's idea to drive it away. If we discuss it, we might just figure out a weakness. And this understood. There must be some way to repel it. The monster is just looking this way. This is like old school RPG. Like super old school. You know, when you have a monster on the screen and they look at you like that and then you have the characters on the bottom and you're like fight, attack. Uh, you know, when they're displayed around like this. Uh, wizardry, might and magic. You know, those old games. What should I do? Save the game. <laughs> what should I do? Save. I love the artwork. Observe situation. The monster is just looking this way. Might want to observe our opponent. Let's go with this. Kaiji looked over the opponent head to toe. Those red areas of its body are making a crackling sound. Seems they're electrified or something. It'd be dangerous to touch. The purple skeletal parts are some kind of armor. Probably okay to touch those. Might have to find a weapon or destroy the armor to deal with this one. The monster is sizing up. Huh, narrowing down your targets. I'll grab his body and give it a hurl. No, don't do that yet. I'll step around to check for stuff. That sounds like a good idea. If I got a weapon, you don't have a weapon. Uh, no, don't suck it with your fist. Something to search. I, I like Jin searching better. Oh, it's adorable. There's a flaming stick on the wall. Meow. A wall torch? Taint a flaming stick. Hmm, not sure about using it as a weapon, but maybe you could burn it if you got close and found a good opportunity. You're kind of violent, wolf. The monster turned toward Hayasaka. Found you. Found you. Ha, 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 ha. I've got the bad feeling. All right, so... We've already found a weapon. She mentioned attacking if she's got a weapon. No good. Fire doesn't seem to work on that armor. I had to do something about the armor. The monster is laughing furiously. <laughs> the monster attacked Hayasaka. But this is no joke. Hayasaka ducked behind the others to escape danger. Ooh, that was close. Uh, go search for a weapon. Well, luck. I found a long shovel in the darkness. Obtain a long shovel. Sure seems like they put it on purpose. So what? Let's be grateful and use it. Okay. Monster's now staring at Anzu. Eek! What? You're creepy! Alright, uh, let's see. No, not this. We can try using her now that we got a shovel. Oh, look at that. Took out the helmet. There, that's a do, right? Destroying a helmet with a shovel. You're really something. I mean, my arm's tingling a little. The monster attacked Anzu. Somebody help me. Let me a hand. Hold on. Uh, fist, maybe. Grab his body. Give a hurl. Let time pass. Go with this. 
Sarah grabbed at the monster. No, no good, it's too strong. It'll just throw me off. Please, hang on. The monster book out of the hold. Uh, Kitaro, go at it. You're the strongest. Alright, stir the armor that is protecting its body. Not bad at all, pro, pro, pro wrestler old timer. I'm a baseball playing young timer. Now, think about the next plan already. Alright. Ah, its body changed color. Might be our chance. Yeah, we need to set it afire. The monster is grappling with Anzu. Stop! Stop it! Kazu will do anything. She used a torch. I'll take aim as weak point. No. Kitaro seems dependable, so how about we have him do it again? No. Slagging with fist? No. I'll hide in the darkness to try to trip it. No, he's grabbing her. But if I set it ablaze... Let's try it. I, I don't want to hurt Anzu, though. The monster is wary of the fire. Ah, I can't approach it like this. Hey, ain't gonna get results forcing it. Use your pieces right, Sarah. Please, don't call them pieces. The monster lift up Anzu and stuffed her in a coffin? Hey, let me out. Um. No. Piss, no. Try to trip it. Okay, try to trip it. The monster lost the fountain and fell over. Whoa, it actually worked out. Huh, don't be startled by something you did yourself. Shut up. What matters is that was useful, right? Okay, so now he's defenseless. Now let's try the fire. Oh. Huh, huh, Kona did it. Uh, you can see under the bandages is now, meow. I'm curious about the red thing on his chest. Uh, the monster got up. I want to observe. Take aim at its weak point. All right, do that. Oh, look at the animation. So good. I think we did it. Woo, I've done it. Good job, Alice. We destroyed the monster. Who's ah? Is Anzu okay? <laughs> you saved me. Thank you. We managed to defeat in a daze, but just what was that thing? An obstructor. A doll meant to impede our objective, and it will come after our lives, apparently. It was saying it definitely won't be satisfied until it destroyed one of us. Eh? Was it really saying that? Uh, that ain't funny. After all this, suddenly we gotta use violence? That's why we're cooperating, right? Our only advantage is numbers. Putting our heads together, and sometimes having someone risk themselves. That's all we can do. <laughs> Let's work together, Sarah. Can I really trust you? We don't want me to fade like that either. We know the fear of death better than anyone. All the dots. All the dots. Huh. Perhaps it's fine to trust them. Huh? I learned how elaborate those AIs are from the incident with fake Reiko. These fellows are alive. They're not just dolls. Whether that's a good thing or not aside. All the dots. You're pretty kind, huh? Hump. Well, guess it's fine. The more people, the more fight we can bring. That's right. Just gotta think simple. Now you're suspecting them for now, I guess. So, uh, let's keep it up, Sarah. Right, same to you. Alright then. First up, let's go after Midori. Alright, well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save, and we're gonna call it a day because we're going on about 45 minutes. Thank you for everything. I love you all so very much. Um, until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. 
please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.